Hello everyone, this is Pingu, and today I will show how to automate Botania Terrestrial using Earth Tools Control and Integrated Dynamics. This setup is compact, it has brake protection, and also you can use it with low tier generating floor. This video may be helpful for those who are learning Earth Tools Control or Integrated Dynamics, or for those who are trying to make their own terrestrial farm. The core of the farm is an RF tools control processor. Everything else can be changed. At the end, I will show you additional automation options. Let's start with the concept of the farm. First of all, we have an entity detector here. Once the terrestrial is picked up, it will emit redstone to the processor. The processor will check if there is any item in the dropper. If there is nothing, it will take one of each item to its internal storage and push them to the dropper. The dropper is blocked with a mana video. Until it reaches 500,000 mana, it will emit redstone. Once it has enough mana, the dropper will drop everything we need and the terrestrial is produced. Once the terrestrial is picked up, the process repeats. First of all, let's make an item detector. We put down an entity reader and a redstone writer and a variable store. Then, take an entity variable. After that, we want to check if the entity is item. We want to emit redstone when there is no item, so we invert the card. After that, if there is no item, it will emit redstone. When there is an item, it won't emit anything. Once we pick it up, it will emit redstone again. After that, let's make a setup that will transfer items from the inventory to the dropper. Processor, drawer, dropper. I recommend you to power it so it won't drop anything, then power source and the button. After that, place a CPU core and allocate for the program first three internal buffers. Let's make a program that will transfer items from inventory to the dropper. The program is simple. Once it gets redstone signal, it counts items in the dropper. If there is zero items, it moves to the next step. If not, it just stops. This is a good protection because sometimes detectors can send false signals. Next, it transfers one of each items from the external storage to the internal buffer. Then, it just pushes items from internal buffer to the dropper. I will leave the program in the description, so you can just copy paste it. Just make sure that the, this setup is facing the right direction. First, Determine from which side the redstone signal will come. In our case, the first redstone signal is coming from north. Place a card redstone on and tell it to get redstone signal from north. The second redstone signal will come from detector, which is on south. After that, place a card count items external. 
The dropper is located east of the processor, so set side east. We need to run the count item in the first slot. The first slot in inventories usually starts with zero. Put a card test equality. First value will be the last number from previous card. The second is zero. After that, we want to move one of each items to the internal buffer. The inventory is on top of the processor, so set side up. The drawer's inventory starts with 1, so set slot to 1. We want to move only single piece of item, so set amount to 1. Slot out in the slot of the processor internal buffer. It starts with 0. Use Ctrl plus click to select the card and then copy paste it. Change the slot for external storage and for internal buffer. Make sure you connected the cards with green dots. Just double click to change connector. Next, put push multiple items card. Tell the programmer to move items from slot 0 to slot 2 in the internal storage. The dropper is on the east. After that, you can save the program and test how it works. Programming with RF2 controls can be tricky. In case your program doesn't work, here are some recommendations. First of all, make sure that you set the right side. Second, make sure that you are using right slots. Third, all cards should be connected with green dots. Fourth, Make sure that you are using white cards. Probably you are using the wrong one. And fifth, you can remove a part of the program and check each of individual steps. The hardest part is behind. So let's make a system that will read the amount of mana and emit redstone if there is less than five hundred thousands amount of mana in the pool. Place a block reader, redstone writer, display panel, variable store. Get an entity NBT card and as you can see we get information about the pool. You can watch my previous video to get more information about data extraction. Next, we want to get the integer of mana. As you can see, we got the exact amount of mana in the pool. After that, we want to emit redstone if there is less than half of the mana pool.
After that, you can connect your mana generator to the pool, place particles, and place an item collector with a filter to only pick up Terra Steel. Break the lever and the farm should start working. You can also connect MJ system to this farm using export bars with a crafting card so the farm will keep running continuously. Let's talk about some variations. First of all, instead of using entity reader from integrated dynamics, you can use any other entity detectors from other mods. In case you don't have actually additions, you can use a dropper with a timer. Half of the mana pool emits redstone signal with trend 7. If you want to emit redstone until the mana pool reaches enough mana, use a comparator with subtraction mode. Place a redstone dust next to the comparator that emits signal with strand 7. So 15 minus 7 is equal 8. That means that until the mana pool reaches enough mana to emit redstone signal with strand 8, the dropper will be blocked. You can use an advanced redstone torch from random things or an inventory with enough items in it to emit redstone signal with strand 7. And don't forget to invert the signal with redstone torch. If you have thermodynamics, I recommend you to use structural duct with a redstone relay. Use a comparator input and a redstone output with a threshold of 7. I hope this tutorial is helpful. I wish everyone good luck. Bye bye.